Has this ever happened to you? You wanted to retrieve footage from your dash cam only to discover that there is no video. Even worse, it hasn't been recording for days. If this has happened to you, you might find a solution in this video. Replacing the real-time clock battery, the RTC battery. While trying to figure out what was wrong with my camera, I discovered that the date on my camera had gone completely wrong. These DDPi dash cams automatically get the date and time from the network but they can only do this when connected to the smartphone app. So what happens when the camera is off? To preserve the date and time, there's a small lithium battery soldered onto the circuit board that keeps this data and recharges whenever the camera is operating. Over time, this battery loses its effectiveness and discharges faster, creating a situation where if the camera wasn't used for nearly a full day, the date will reset or get messed up. When this happens, New files are saved as if they were old files and automatically overwritten. I contacted DDPi with a question about the battery in the camera and they provided me with the battery details along with advice not to tackle this myself because it's a job for experts. Of course, I love challenges and if you've made it this far, you probably do too. So let's get started. For this job, we will need a soldering iron, solder and small screwdrivers. We'll start with a Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws from the back cover of the camera. Now, with a small flathead screwdriver, we'll carefully separate the plastic cover from the camera. To separate the circuit board and its cooler, we will loosen three more small Phillips screws. Be careful not to lose them and put them aside. There are four more small Phillips screws holding this plastic piece, so let's remove them as well. We'll need to remove the capacitor to access the last screw. With a flathead screwdriver, carefully disconnect the sensor connector and set it aside. Disconnect the capacitor in the same way. Disconnect the lens connector from the circuit board. Now, to remove the circuit board, carefully move the clips that hold it in place and gently lift it outwards. Don't worry about the microphone hanging in the air, we'll put it back in place when we finish. Now, we can insert a thin flathead screwdriver between the cooler and the circuit board also carefully and separate them. Now that we have access to the circuit, we can see this small battery that needs replacement. I order a matching pair of batteries on AliExpress and you can find it in the description of this video. You can see that the new battery is identical to the one currently soldered onto the circuit. After the soldering iron has heated up, we will use it to disconnect the old battery. Hit each of the battery's leg carefully and pull it outward while doing so. This requires steady hands. As you can see, at some point I accidentally moved my hand too much and the soldering iron burned a bit of the foam near the battery. After the battery is out, we will solder a bit of solder onto the circuit board at the points where the battery legs connect. Simply place the new battery in position and hit the connection point so that the legs are soldered to the circuit using the solder. Now that the new battery is in place, we will put everything back in reverse order. First, we will reattach the cooler to the circuit board by pressing them together. Carefully return the microphone to its small niche inside the plastic housing. 
I disassembled the lens so I'm putting it back along with its connector on the circuit. We'll return the sensor to its place with its connector and also the capacitor with its connector. Just before I put back all the screws, I connected the power cable to check that the camera is working properly. Hello, ding ding tang. And everything looks fine. Please insert the SD card. Let's continue with the assembly. Put the circuit board back. We have four Phillips screws on the sensor. And three more Phillips screws on the cooler of the circuit board. When the screws are properly tightened, the circuit will be finally seated in its place. Press the back cover of the camera until you hear clicks. And secure it finally with the two Phillips screws we removed at the beginning. Insert the SD card and connect the power cable. And the camera turns on, but the time has reset to 000. So we will connect the camera through the app, and the date and time will automatically adjust once the camera is connected. You can see that the date has changed and is now correct. I disconnected the camera for two days to check if the problem was actually fixed. So after two days, let's connect the camera, and we see that the Hello. date and time are correct. Excellent! If this video helped you, let me know in the comments and hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to watch more DIY videos in the future. Bye bye!